Well, are you tired of forgetting about some of those key wardrobe pieces in your closet because they just get lost in the mix? Or maybe you're like me and you have a full-blown hoarders situation happening in your closet. Well, Moore's organizing expert is here to help. She has a few great ideas for cleaning out your closet. Check it out. Hey everybody, it's Vicki Norris, organizing expert and life reclaimist of Restoring Order. Today I am so excited that we are at Dream Acres, our family homestead and the headquarters of Restoring Order. And I brought you here because I want to bring you in on a little secret, my closet. I can't wait to show you, come on in. I want to give you a little backstory of my closet. Now this is an extra room in our home and it used to be my son's nursery. I knew that to reclaim this room it would have to be something really good. And so I decided to make this entire room my closet. I was inspired for this closet based on file cabinets. Now you know there's two kinds of file cabinets. There is the lateral filing cabinets that you have to walk around the side of and we call those side loading in organizing. And then there's the file cabinets that you just pull straight open, they're a narrower drawer, and we call those front loading cabinets. So as I was thinking about my closet one day, I thought, well, no wonder I don't like my closet because it was all jammed in and it was side loading. I want to make it front loading, I decided. And so that's how it came to be that all of my clothes um, are facing front, just like a front loading file cabinet. So most closets are just like this. They're side loading. And the problem is, is that stuff uh, you kind of forget what it looks like and sometimes you even hang clothes off of each other and then it gets buried so you just forget about it and since so many of us are visual uh, we don't end up wearing a lot of our clothes. Trevor made these boards, these routered boards, and then he sort of shabby chic them for me. And then we simply went to the local hardware store and got some hooks. And then I just hung my clothes in a cascading fashion. I just basically used the hangers that you get at the store when you buy something. I just asked to keep them. And then I could um, hang my clothes in this fashion so that they're all facing forward. So one of the fun things about this closet is I've really just used things that I had or that were easy to pick up. This happens to be a footboard of an old twin bed. It's just a metal footboard and I hung my belts on it. And so even if you can't, you know, hang your clothes front loading in your bedroom or in your closet, you can definitely display your accessories. And so I put all my belts here so I just remember what I have and it's easy to grab and go. Along the theme of making your accessories artwork, I just used what I had and I put it in a beautiful format. So this happens to be the uh, headboard to, that goes with that footboard that my belts are on. And I hung my long scarves on this. And then I just repurposed a baby gate that I had from when my kids were running around here and toddlers. And I put my winter scarves on these. Now I can see everything I have and it actually helps me put outfits together. Then finally, to touch this off, I had some cute little jars here. And you know, sometimes you have pins and you have bracelets and things that won't exactly hang from gates. And so I put those in those jars. And now everything is visual. So for those of you who are visual, you will love setting up a closet like mine. Lots of us have rooms that we're not using, guest rooms, or even wall space. I mean, you could take over an entire wall Sorry, husbands out there. You could take over an entire wall in your bedroom and hang up your clothes and make it fun. This is my own little room. I even have a pretty little chandelier. So I hope you have fun setting up a closet that makes sense to you.